the, uh, trying to understand Freddie Mercury was like tried to like kind of enlighten me to understanding people of alternate sexualities. It's like and and to appreciate them. It's like you're still a fucking artist. You know, mm-hmm. I don't care who you want to bang. If as long as you keep making kick ass songs, Freddie Mercury, blow anyone you want. I don't care. Right. You know. Because it has one that has nothing to do with the other. Nothing, you know. But back then, it was in in the U.S. Uh, it was he- he- dominated by heavy metal music and the very heterosexual machismo, and that's mm-hmm. why Queen albums weren't selling very well. But then Highlander came out. Then of course you've got the <laughs> the Bible influences. I don't want my kid listening to something yeah. that that insert uh, derogatory yeah. expletive here for, for homosexuals. Mm-hmm. And it was funny is because like the whole. The whole band got labeled as gay. Right. When Freddie was just bisexual, and he was the only one that was, as far as my understanding. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But, now, you know, Brian never calls anymore. I tried to fuck him, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just, I just want to bang a doctor, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Astrophysics counts. <laughs> But I mean, it's because it's really none of your business. No, you it's know. Not. And I thought that that the story of Queen is is being done now because that aspect of Freddie Mercury's life can be more op- widely understood right. now mm-hmm. than a movie done that was that was done in the eighties or nineties. You know, right? After, and it would uh, you know, the, unfortunately, at that point in time, the message just wasn't received. It would would not have been received the same way it would be today. Right. Absolutely. And I mean, of course, they're going to talk about his demise and um, the nature of it. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think that that's good, too. So people you know, understand about safe sex and so forth. Because, I mean, uh, you know, losing Freddie, losing people like Freddie, losing people like uh, David Bowie, Robin Williams, all these artists and stuff like that. And it's like it, it can be avoided sometimes, you know. And I mean, Freddie Mercury even did a song. Too much love can kill you. It's just as sure as none at all. Yep. You know, and I really do like that ni- uh, 1991 Innuendo album. That's an excellent album. And this, the song is Show Must Go On. Oh, the l- haunting vocals by Freddie. Mm-hmm. And he was so sick when he did that. So sick. <laughs> 